All right, here we're going to play off the definition of a stock return and just determine the price or P1 right here. So we're going to determine P1 that we need in order to realize some return. Think about this as your target return at 12.4%. Okay, so going back to our one period stock return formula, we know that one period stock return is just this amount here and so we can solve for p1 and then insert values and we'll have the answer and so here it just takes a little bit of algebra so i'm going to multiply both sides by p0 first so i have r times p0 on the left and that's going to equal P1 plus D1 minus P0. And second, I want to isolate this number here. So I can do this by saying P0 plus R times P0 minus D1 equals P1. All right, so I just move the D1 and the P0 over to the left side. Could simplify by saying P zero times one plus R minus P one. That's going to get me to P one as well. So you can, you can choose exactly how you want to uh, format this. But in any regard, I'm going to insert some uh, numbers now and go. So P zero is twenty four. We need twelve point four percent. So one point one two four minus the dollar fifty nine and so P one is twenty five dollars point three eight six. So there's the answer. And so if you want to check it, um you can plug everything back in to here and verify that you get twelve point four percent.